After watching Kong Skull Island and Godzilla King of the Monsters, most fans might be thinking that Kong hardly compares to Godzilla. One thing we definitely know is that in their current incarnations, Godzilla dwarfs King Kong, so it would hardly be a fair matchup. However, we've also heard that Kong from Skull Island hasn't finished growing yet. Since the most recent Godzilla was set in modern times and Kong was set in the 1970s, it is fair to say that a few decades could give Kong the time he needs to grow. But that doesn't mean he'll look the same when he finally gets to the final fight. Welcome to Factolic, and this video is about what to expect from next year's MonsterVerse showdown, Godzilla vs Kong. For those who have watched Skull Island, you probably know already that Kong is always being attacked and is always forced to be on his guard. Even with his sheer ferocity and strength, he tends to be on the losing side at times, as his attackers are just as mean and maybe even a little more dangerous than he is. But Kong is a lot stronger and capable of being a lot more savage than most beasts, as he always finds a way to come roaring back against his enemies. Whatever they throw at him, Kong tends to give it right back with some of his own. However, with Godzilla, it's going to be a tough fight to say the absolute least. Plus, after so many decades of constant fighting, Kong is going to look a little rough around the edges. The many fights he'll no doubt go through are going to leave their mark on him, and he'll come into the fight looking like the grizzled veteran. When director Michael Doherty was questioned about what to expect from next year's showdown, he replied by saying, I think part of the fun of watching that fight go down is we are witnessing a potential underdog battle. We're looking at an almost David versus Goliath situation, because everyone, the moment you say Godzilla's going to fight Kong, your first reaction is Kong doesn't stand a chance. Godzilla, radioactive breath, etc, etc, Practically what he said is actually valid since Godzilla has a major advantage against Kong simply because of his breath weapon and tail. Kong can only realistically counter the tail in some way and would have to hope that his hide is somehow resistant to Godzilla's atomic breath. That might not be too feasible but it might be possible to believe that Kong could be smart enough to see it once and then do his best to stay away from it or counter it with something else. The problem is that if Kong can't stand up to the breath weapon, once is all it might take. Kong is extremely intelligent, the director added. As a primate, he's a tool user, so he's got speed, he's got agility, he might have some good size. And I like a good underdog battle, Doherty teased, comparing this fight to another iconic heavyweight battle. You know, it's like watching Rocky go up against Ivan Drago. It seems unfair, but clearly, this means the underdog might have a few surprises. Maybe Kong has a chance after all, but that still doesn't explain why they're fighting in the first place. If Godzilla is Earth's protector, and Kong was the protagonist of his own film franchise, why are they really fighting? Are these two titans only coming to blows because it's cool? To that, Doherty replied by saying, I think there's something primal in human beings to want to see a fight like that. I think it goes back to all of our myths and legends, ancient Greek myths about gods battling each other. It's just part of who we are as a species. Half the reason I think people watch the Planet Earth nature specials is to watch animals going up against each other, to see crocodiles going up against water buffaloes. Some fans have theorised that it could stem from humans trying to put an end to Godzilla after the events of Godzilla, King of the Monsters, using King Kong to try and bring down the final remaining Titan. But come on, we all know it's just because people like seeing giant monsters fight each other, and these two are the pinnacle of giant fighting monsters who seem destined to throw down and Doherty confirmed as much. It's no accident that Kong was a direct inspiration for Godzilla, that the Japanese filmmakers watched King Kong and were hugely inspired by him, he said. The hope is that their motivations for fighting each other are sound and not contrived. But when you have two extremely hyper-aggressive masculine territorial animals who both believe that they're the rightful ruler of an entire species, chances are they're going to do more than have afternoon tea. 
There are a lot of what-ifs and arguments that will be flung around, but one thing is certain, the line from the 2014 Godzilla is going to apply most definitely to this upcoming mega battle. Let them fight. That was all for this video. Do like and share this video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for more upcoming videos.